nominees for the Dinosaur Design Best Music Award are Michael Yuzeski for Black Balloon, <laughs> Hayden Walker for Men's Group, and Amanda Brown for Son of a Lion. Tonight's nominees for the Screen Australia Best Script Award are Elissa Down and Jimmy the Exploder for Black Balloon. Michael Joy and John L. Simpson for Men's Group. And Peter Duncan for Unfinished Sky. And the winner is Michael Joy and John L. Simpson for Men's Group. None of the actors in Men's Group were given a full script. All scenes in the film were first takes, captured on three cameras. Uh, thank you very much. That's um, quite a surprise. Um, I think the, the script for Men's Group um, was developed over a long period of time. John and I started writing a whole lot of ideas down and then as we cast our actors, they all became involved in writing their particular characters. It was a huge journey for all of us, so I'd like to thank everyone here. Uh, Paul Tassoni, Paul Gleeson, Steve Lamarckman, Steve Rogers, Don Reed, Grant Dodwell, William, William Zappa, um, all for their, uh, uh, their courageous work. It was a, a very, very big journey for them, so for all of us it was wonderful. Thank you, IF Awards. Thank you, Screen Australia. And the nominees for the Queensland Events Best Actor Award are... William McInnes, Unfinished Sky. What do you think you're doing? It's not your home. Do you understand? You don't belong here and you've got no right. Grant Dodwell, Men's Group. I'm here because my son's been an arsehole, right? That's why I'm here. I'm not here to tell everybody my fucking life history. Don't be so bloody selfish, Thomas. He's not my responsibility. He's your brother. He is a freak. Reese Wakefield, The Black Balloon. I don't want anything to do with it. Minister. Yes. <laughs> and the winner is Grant Dodwell for Men's Group. This is Grant's fourth Best Actor Award. His first was in 1984 with a Logie for his role as Wombat Plague of Dr. Simon Bowen on A Country Practice. Thank you. Uh, wow, look, uh, thank you very much. Uh, um, firstly, I'd like to acknowledge my uh, co-nominees, uh, the wonderful um, uh, William McGuinness and the, the young and youthful and very talented Reese Wakefield. Uh, wonderful, yes. <laughs> uh, when, I, when I think of my involvement and my part in this film, I feel very proud. Um, I feel very excited to be part of a, an innovative and uh, a very relevant Australian film, and I'm sure that uh, many people will be discussing this. It'll evoke a lot of discussion for many decades to come. It was just a wonderful experience. And, and certainly to my um, ensemble cast, and really this is a very much an ensemble feature, um, and, and that's starting uh, with uh, Mr. Don Reed. Uh, we have Paul Gleeson, uh, Paul Tassoni, um, Steve Lamarquin, Steve Rogers and William Zappa, a wonderful cast. I encourage you to really see this. They're, they're absolutely stunning. Um, certainly um, our producer and distributor, uh, the visionary John L. Simpson, thank you very much indeed. And the insightful and careful and caring director, um, Michael Joy, thank you very much indeed. Uh, of course, our, our wonderful crew, uh, our brilliant crew, crew headed up by Geoffrey uh, Wharton, our um, um, DOP, 
Uh, they just did a fantastic job in very cramped conditions filming this uh, particular project. Um, all of us took a leap of faith making this particular movie, and I guess we have been rewarded, um, each and every one of us, by taking this leap of faith from the from the feedback that we get from communities that are, that are, that are slowly getting to witness this film. Uh, this film, uh, as I said, evokes discussion. It, it, it's going to work for communities and work for communities to make it a better place for all of us to exist. So thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh, the nominees for Showtime Best Film Awards are... Men's Group, director Michael Joy, producers John L. Simpson and Michael Joy. Son of a Lion, director Benjamin Gilmore, producer Carolyn Johnson. The Black Balloon, director Alyssa Down, Producer Tristram Meyer. And the winner is <clears throat> Men's Group, directed by Michael Joy, produced by John L. Simpson. This is not the first major award for Men's Group, having won the Spartan Award at the 2007 Digi Spa. Men's Group is currently in cinemas nationally. Well, this is really quite extraordinary. Um, Men's Group started off with two guys, Michael Joy and myself, coming up with a crazy idea that we could make a film outside the system without any money. And when we told people that we had no budget, they kept saying, you know, but how much? You can make a film without money in this country, but you cannot make a film in this country without an incredible cast, an incredible crew, and unbelievable support from this extremely generous industry. I'm going to start by saying thank you to DigiSpa, thank you Spa, Song Zoo, The Lab, Luscious, Panavision, JVC, thank you to our magnificent editor, uh, thank you to IF Awards. I also want to say that we are in cinemas nationally. Getting your film out there in this country can be extremely difficult. And I want to pay a, a very quick tribute to somebody this time last year who took a punt on a wonderful film called The Jammed, when no one else would take that punt. Her name is Natalie Miller. She has Cinema Nova. She picked last year's winner. She also picked this year's winner when no one else would support this film. She was the first person to say yes to Men's Group, and then everyone followed her lead and said yes. So thank you very much. We're on tonight in Cinema Nova. We're with the uh, Palace chain, and we're in uh, a cinema in every state. So please go out and see the film. Now, and a big thank you to my beautiful wife. Please enjoy a look at tonight's Best Film Award winner, Men's Group. What's going on with you? Listen, you silly dick. I came here to get a few fucking answers, and all I'm getting is bloody, you know, people sort of saying I'm doing the wrong thing. How do you know your wife's dead? The sex is still the same, but the dishes pile up. Daddy! How are you? I just got this pain in the guts. I can't seem to fucking get rid of it. I just knew from that one gesture that that he just knew that he loved me. You know, it's my dad. It all seems so fucking stupid and pointless. How many family court judges does it take to fuck up your life? The one. I don't want my son to 
grow up like me, regretting fucking time past. It's not really a therapy session. I don't really know what you're expecting, but um, 